Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and this video is on special right triangles in geometry, and we're going to do some sample problems, but before we do that, let's go ahead and review the special right triangles. So the first one here is a 45-45-90 triangle. Now, the reason why it's called a 45-45-90 is because it's an isosceles right triangle, and it has 45 degree angles because it's isosceles. So what happens here is if this piece is x, this piece will also be x, and the pattern says we go across the 45 to the longer side. So we're going to a longer side, so this is shorter, and the hypotenuse is longer, so we're going to multiply by the square root of 2. So whatever value we have, whether it's x or a or b or a number, we will multiply that number by the square root of 2. So that's the pattern you need to memorize over the 45, you multiply by the square root of 2. So if you're going from the other way, say, from a longer side, so let me just redraw this a little bit different, and I'm going to say I'm going from, we'll call this A, here's a 45, there's a 45, and I'm going to a shorter side. So this is shorter. I want to make it smaller. To make it smaller, you divide by the square root of 2, and then rationalize that denominator. So in other words, you're going to multiply the top and bottom by root 2 to get a rational number there. Okay, so that's the 45-45-90 triangle. And why does that work? Well, you could prove it with the Pythagorean theorem. You could say if this piece is x, we can say x squared plus x squared equals this hypotenuse, and I don't know what that is, squared. So I get 2x squared equals, we'll call this hypotenuse c, so c squared. Now take the square root, you end up c is the square root of 2x squared. You can clean it up and say that this is x times the square root of 2. So that's why that pattern works. Now moving on to the 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now most books will call these as 30, 60, 90. But I like to, in my classroom, call this... Instead of that, I like to say 60, 30, 90. Now, the reason, there's a reason why I'm saying 60, because we're going to ignore the 30 for right now. Everything's going to revolve around this 60 and the 90, these two right here. Think of it as the two the, right next to each other with the shorter side. Okay, so that's what we're going to focus on. So now, if I call this shorter side x, well, to get to this... I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3, and then I go across the 60. So that's why I'm going across the 60, because I always want to start with the shorter side here. That's what we're looking at. Across the 60, I'm going to, I, this one was here was a longer leg, right? And now this is a hypotenuse, which is also longer. So we're going to multiply this one by 2, so 2 times x. So again, you go up to the longer ones, you're going to multiply. So if I drew this, we'll say like this, and we'll put this as the 60 again, and this time I call this piece, um, we'll say 4a. Well, when I go this way, I'm going to divide because I'm going to a shorter side. Okay, and then when I go this way, I still want to multiply because I'm going to a longer side. And then I can put the a, so this would be 2a, right? You divide by 2, and then you multiply, so this would be 2a times the square root of 3. Now, we could do this again, and I can this time, one more spot where I can put that other value, and I could say, let's go ahead and put that other value, we'll say right here, and we'll call this x. Well, I'm going to a shorter side, I divide by the square root of 3. I go across the 60 to a longer side. I'm going to take this value and multiply it by 2. And that's how this pattern will always work. So the, way, the best way to memorize it is this first example right here. Start with the shorter side. You go to a longer side, you multiply by root 3 to the longer leg. You go to the hypotenuse, you're going to multiply by 2. So hypotenuse by 2, longer leg by root 3 and then you can manipulate it as you need to. So let's take a look at our first example here. On our first example, we've got uh, a 45-45-90 triangle, and it asks us to solve 
for x and or y. So let's do this first one, and let's take a look at what we got. So here's 12. Well, this is isosceles, and it's a right triangle, so that y is going to be 12 also. Now I go across the 45, and I'm going to multiply by root 2. So x will be 12 times the square root of 2, and that's it. All right, for the next one, what we want to do here on this one, again, it's 45, 45, 90. Well, this piece is going to be 8. I go across the 45 to a longer side. I multiply, so y is going to be 8 times the square root of 2. Okay, now moving on to the next one. So we've got the 15 right here that we're looking at, and we need to, right here, go to a shorter leg. This is at the hypotenuse. So I need to divide by the square root of 2. So shorter leg, divide by the square root of 2. So x is going to end up being 15 divided by the square root of 2. Now, we don't want to leave our answer like this. We need to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to say multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 2. So this gives me 15 root 2 over 2 as my final answer. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Let's slide this up. And on number 4 here, we've got the x and the y. And let's take a look at what we're going to do with this. This is the 8, and this is the 60, so this is the shorter leg. Now I'm moving to an I a hypotenuse right there, so I need to multiply this by 2. So x will be 8 times 2, so we double it, so that's going to be 16. I go to a longer leg. I'm going to multiply, so y will end up being 8 times the square root of 3. Taking a look at our next one right here, and we've got the x and the y and a 6 right there. Here's our 60-degree angle. We always identify that because that tells us that this is the shorter side. How do I know it's shorter? Because it's opposite the 30. This is longer. The x is longer because it's opposite the 60. So we identify the 60, and we go straight across, straight over that. I go to a shorter leg. I divide by 2. So y is going to be the 6 divided by 2, which will be 3. Now, I go to a longer leg. I'm going to take this 3, and I'm going to multiply it by the square root of 3. So x is 3 root 3. Now, you may be wondering, why is this pattern the way it is? Let's visit this again right up here, and I'll show you why real fast. Suppose we have this triangle, and it's our 60, 30, 90 triangle, and this is 60, there's 30, there's our 90. Imagine if we just extend this out and make this into an equilateral triangle so that that's 30 also, and they're all 60-degree angles right now. Well, if you call this piece 2A, well, that piece would be 2A, and that piece would be 2A because it's an equilateral triangle. Half of this, this is the halfway point, would make this A, and now you can use the Pythagorean theorem on these two to get this side, and it'll give you A times root 3. So that's how we can prove that real quick, and that's how we know that. All right, so back to our problem here, number 6, and let's take a look at what we got. We have... The 4 right here, I identify where the 60 degree angle is, so I'm going to a shorter leg, this is my shorter leg, and I'm going to go ahead and divide by the square root of 3. Now again, we need to rationalize the denominator, because that's what x is here, and so we're going to multiply the top and bottom by root 3 over 3, root 3 over root 3, and this will give me 4 square root 3 over 3 as my answer. For x. Now I go to the hypotenuse right there. So from here across the 60 the hypotenuse, I multiply by 2. So I'll get 8 root 3 over 3. So this 4 root 3 over 3 times 2 over 1, that's what I did by multiply by 2, gave me 8 root 3 over 3. All right, let's move on to the next problem. And that's on the next page here. And let's take a look at this. Let me go ahead and enlarge this a little bit. And we've got this as our 60 degree angle. This is 2. So we're going from a longer leg to a shorter leg. So again, I need to divide by root 3. 
So this piece, uh, this one doesn't have the X and Y labeled, so we'll label that. <clears throat> so this piece, X, is going to be 2 divided by the square root 3. Let's rationalize the denominator, and I'll end up with 2 root 3 over 3. I go across the 62 of the hypotenuse. I need to multiply by 2. So y will be 2 root 3 over 3 times 2, which will give me 4 root 3 over 3. And finally, our last problem here. Here's the 4. This is 45, 45. Let's call these x and y. Well, x is going to be y because it's isosceles, right? And I go from the hypotenuse to a shorter leg. <clears throat> it's 45, so I'm going to divide by the square root of 2. I divide because I'm going to a smaller, a shorter leg. So we can clean this up, and we're going to multiply by root 2 over root 2. To rationalize the denominator, I get 4 root 2 over 2, and then I can even simplify this further to get 2 root 2 as both my x and my y. So hopefully that's helped, and... Uh, these are how we do the special right triangles. So make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.